everybody, my name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play the Wind Waker HD Blind Visually. In the last one, we made it to the boss door, and I'm really tired for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> and we also, we're, we're down to one health, and it sucks. Uh, let's go fight the boss and probably die. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's face it. Oh, God. <laughs> I might die a lot in this episode, guys. First boss wasn't too bad. Ooh. I forgot about this. There is no boss in this dungeon. Oh, that's a cool symbol on the door. Oh, that makes things significantly easy, actually. Never mind, then. All right, let's go save my car. Yay! Look, I'm so happy. What is that? It's a Boku Baba. The heck? Oh, he ate him. Dang it. Oh, did I trick you guys? I, I'm assuming no. Oh, it's, like, it's really cool, because it's like we're underwater. And he like sucks all the water into his plant. I don't know if that's what that's supposed to be. I'm assuming it is. It, it should be, right? Oh god. The music in here is pretty clunky. Oh boy. Don't touch. Don't touch that dun dun. Alright, so we can only Seriously dude? Alright, okay, this is a good attempt. Whoa, how come that one tentacles out? That's weird. Alright, good. Oh no 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 no! Alright. No, no, no! Good lord. Okay. As you can tell, I'm a little bit scared, guys. Especially with all this intense music and stuff. Oh, no, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, he did hit me. Wow, I did not expect that. Alright, did I get him? No, oh, they're healing. They're coming back way too fast. Oh, man. I don't have time to hit them all. Oh, that might be it. Did we get him? Yes. All right. Now, I want to get here as quickly as I possibly can here. All right. Doing freaking no. Oh, I forgot about this as well. That kill? That will kill me, won't it? Oh, oh yeah. Had a oh, I forgot about that. I had a fairy. Oh, well, never mind then. <laughs> well, thankfully, I'm not doing the freaking... Oh, oh, boy. I don't like that very much. I wonder what our shield would actually do here. Anything? Alright, I got my like bearings a little bit more here. I, this might be a bit easier. Yeah. Alright, come on, me bro. I think they could reach me from there. Oh, but they're starting to grow back now. Yeah, these grow back really freaking fast sometimes. It's weird, they're not growing back at the same rate either. Cause I'm pretty sure, unless I did just kill two. That's fine. Alright, freaking mash the balls out of it. Oh, I killed them! Nice! So I was doing a mixture of like spin attacks. It normally takes three rounds to kill them. Kind of shocked it only did, took two. Wow. Well, well then, if it wasn't for that fairy, I would have totally been screwed. Oh boy. Oh, this is really. Cool. I love how the boss die in this game. It's like, oh, reach for the sun. Ugh. And the way it just shrivels up and dies. It's amazing. Amaze balls even. <laughs> so if I killed them right in the middle, would I just be on the toe? Oh, I guess not, because I walk up here. Swordsman, are you the one who rescued me? I have my things. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on Earth was over. But why are you here, swordsman? What? The dick, the great Deku tree sent you? Oh, th th that's right! Today's the day of the annual ceremony! I thought that's why you guys are coming back to the Forest Haven. That's why you're here in the first place, is it not? Oh, I'm in trouble! I shouldn't be here! I must get out of here immediately! I like you kind of turned Mickey Mouse there. <laughs> Alright! You got a heart container! Your life energy has increased by one! Plus your life gauge has been replenished. Yay! So we're up to five hearts now. Let's go, quickly! I'm hoping uh, the more I get these, the less I'll be dying in this playthrough. Look at that swirly swirl. Look at those like, green lights on here. Let's, create, let's get a good look here. Uh. Oh, oh, I always get mixed up between the ZR and the R button. Okay, there's nothing really interesting in here. That would have been cool if that went up to the sky. Say anything else, Mr. Makar? Where'd he go? What? Where is he? Did he? Oh, holy crap! He like blended perfectly. I was like, did he walk to the center? Right? Let's go real quickly. Oh boy! Can't turn to Mickey Mouse there. Did I already say that? Nice. I might have already said that. I was definitely thinking it. Oh boy! Oh, he's following me. We. Oh, I love the way he like waddles towards me. It's like a freaking penguin. We. Oh no! He got squished. He got vertically expressed, exposed, expanded. I don't freaking know the word. I can't think of it. Uh, he's just on my head now. Oh, Makar, you have returned safely. This, this wasn't his voice. I'm 
sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but I still did not listen. Do not worry, Makar. You are safe now. Just be careful from now on. You have done well, Link. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here's uh, what. Uh, here is that which I have promised you. Please accept it. You could have just given this to me before. I mean, come on, man. Do you not trust me? Do you not trust the Chris that is a complete stranger? Yay! You received Ferrara's Peril. The Earth Spirit, the Great Deku Tree, has seen fit to give this jewel a treasure of the goddess Ferrara. Ferrara. It is my hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. Also, uh, look at his, like, crazy eyes. Something about it, man. Just, like, look, I, I was gonna say, they're, like, really droopy. Maybe it's just because he's old, but it's almost like he, he like, gets no sleep. <laughs> I mean, he has a tree, so maybe, I don't, do trees sleep? Or do something that's equivalent to sleep? Maybe hibernate in the winter, I guess, when they lose all the leaves? All is well, Makar. Do not cry. Please, play your songs for me as you always do. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, that's right. We must begin our ceremony soon before the day ends. I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Let the ceremony begin. That's the I'm actually recording this at 1 a.m. Actually, it's 1.01 a.m. right now. Oh, great, Link. This actually might be the latest I've ever recorded, like, a Let's Play on, like, Nintendo. I've done, like, Minecraft and horror games at this time before, though. Uh, as many thanks to you. I shall play even harder than I normally do. I hope you enjoy it. Harder, faster, stronger, quicker, stop then. I, those weren't even the correct lyrics. <laughs> I like how Link turned towards them before he even heard them. Before they even started singing, he just knew. Oh, well, Great Deku Chu just, he literally came. Like, that's not even a joke. He germinated. Okay, one of them stayed behind. Was that a weird glitch? <laughs> he's, ooh, he's even like shaking his head with his gaped up mouth. Great Deku Tree, this year has once again produced some splendid seeds. With these seeds, we shall continue to spread new forests across the Great Sea. Let us go, Koroks, to the sea. See you all next year. Take care. Farewell, Great Swordsman. May the winds of chance bring us together again someday. Oh, they will, I'm sure. Along with one of the most annoying side quests ever. <laughs> Which is not really annoying. One of the most, like, scary side quests ever because it's so freaking scary to do. Or stressful, I should say, I guess is the right word I was looking for. Every year after the Koroks perform this ceremony, they fly off to, a distant, to the distant islands on the sea and plant my seeds in hopes that new forests will grow. Forests hold great power. They can change one tiny island to a much lar to much larger land. Soon a day will come when all islands are one, connected by earth and grove. So it's like freaking um, Team Magma over here trying to make the earth bigger. Or the land mass, I guess. And the people who live on that great island will be able to join hands and, and together create a better world. Such is my dream. But the, only, the one you are chasing is trying to prevent that dream from ever coming to pass. Link. Already your fate is tied to the fate of this world. You must proceed with great care. Well, that's not scary at all. Oh, can I just jump up there? <laughs> what is even up there? What is up there? Well, crap. Now I want to know. There's, There's got to be a way to get up there. Because that's not the way out. That much is certain. Okay, well, let's go see the great Makar. Thank you, Link, for all that you've done for me. How is my performance? Did it see your tastes or no? This instrument is the one the Great Deku Tree gave to me on the day of my birth. They said it was an instrument that people played long, long ago. It has taken many long hours of practice to be able to perform at the level I do now. Eight of my fellow Koroks have set out on journeys to create new forces in the world. But both Hollow, who studies making of potions, and I are always on this island. Please come to see us here again. We'll be waiting for you. It's weird that he, like, I get hollow because he creates potions and all that, but why are you staying here? I guess he, he's just maybe, um, the great Deku Tree's personal musician or something? I don't know, actually, I was gonna go get a blue potion, but it's probably in our better interest for us to capture this fairy. This weird glowy glow. You caught a forest fairy! Uh, in your bottle, a strange light emanates from this mythical creature. So, 
Um, we're gonna make sure we don't actually use that. Because that'd be really easy to do so. Alright. So, yeah, that fairy will come in use, la use later. Uh, these little glowing lights that are flying around are not the fairy. Forest fairy, I should say. Uh, it, it's very, like... I was not gonna say obvious which one it is, but it it's like it has like a pulsation about it. And I don't know if you guys were watching that or not, but it's pretty easy to tell which one is it. Okay, now I really want to see what's in that. Oh, see, here's another one. See how it's like much brighter than the other ones, and it kind of glows against the ground. Yeah, yeah, see against the wall there and all that crap. All right. Um, out of my own curiosity, I really want to see what's in that um up there. What is that? So I'm pretty sure I'd never went that way yet. I don't know if I've ever gone that way to be honest. Well, unless I go out there and I'm like, oh, I know where this leads. Alright, since I'm clearly not gonna land in there. Alright, using a deco leaf makes it so much easier. Oh no, I say as I freaking Okay, I was gonna say <laughs> Oh, I better make that crap man. I'm a crap man! Scooby Okay, I could totally make that from here. Toy line on the great Deku Tree's head if I really wanted to. I've probably come this way before. I don't feel like I've never noticed this. There's this place is full of secret passages, apparently. There's so many passages. So many pathogens. Don't know what that means. Where are we? What is the point of this island? <coughs> is it just a quick escape? Why would it be so difficult to get up there? I almost wish there was like a ladder here or something so we didn't have to like, you know, crawl back up, like go through all that crap just to go see the Great Deku Tree, because we will later and there's no easy way to get up there, it's really obnoxious. One thing I wish the game did better. We okay, let's just go to our dude. Is that mailbox dancing? What the balls, man? What the ball man? Ooh, there's a there's a fish over there. Even though some okay. Oh, you know what? I was gonna say. Um, even though like we have to use bait to get the the uh, uh, the map of the islands here. Oh, it's interesting. I didn't even know he was on the map there. See to the right underneath the treasure chest and all that. I really wish we had this block off the screen. It's really freaking annoying. Uh, some of them are already filled in, such as Windfall Island, Forsaken Fortress, and Outset Island. I'm gonna still use them all, or use all the bait and like talk to them all just because I'm kind of curious what they all say if I remember to anyways I really hope that is something I remember because I'm legitimately curious what they say oh no I want to go over here Zelda gamer from Stonewatcher Island says this place looks like a zoo what oh a shoe I think he says a shoe I think I'm supposed to say a shoe I guess I don't freaking know Anyways, dancing mailbox, how curious. Let's talk to it. It's weird we're talking to a mailbox. Good morning! Wait, is Frank? We have one letter! Here's your letter. And it sneezes it on me, very gross like. Dear Link. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I, was, I was mimicking the post box cough, actually. If you're reading this letter, it can only mean that you're peeking to one of our many post boxes. I'm indebted to you. And I'm very sorry I, I let you leave without thanking me. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. I cannot do this. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcels for you, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you see a wiggling, see any wiggling post boxes, please look inside of them. I suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I've included a gift for you which will help my letter in the hope that it might help you. What? <laughs> Yay, butchered reading! Please accept this small token. I look forward to the day we meet again. May fortune fill your wings. From Kamali's father. So yeah, it's from Dragon Roost Island. The main guy there. You got a piece of heart! You've collected three so far. Collect one more to increase your life energy by one heart. It's really interesting that... Good morning! Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? Uh, it's interesting it gives you a piece of heart. Because that like you get that letter no matter what. Like We didn't do anything special to get that letter. It's like, it's the first letter you get in the game, and I knew that would be there. But, uh, yeah. Look at this beetle ship. And the magic beetle ship. Um, what do we have for bait right now? Oh, I'm really liking that we have this, this item screen. I don't really like how slow it takes to move items on there, but I'm happy I could actually show you guys what's going on. Reverse lock now. We gotta keep that. First person camera? What? I don't even know. 
Uh oh, no, that's dead actually. <clears throat> Should it more? Gyroscope on, UI display. Ooh! Wait. What'd that do? I thought I thought that maybe be for like maps and stuff. And Steve. Did it save? Choose what to display uh, action prompts and currently assign items in the corner of the screen. You could turn these off when you become familiar with the. Oh, okay, never mind. I don't want that off then. All right, what do you have to say, Miss King of Laird Lions? So this place too has been attacked by Ganon. Could he be already regaining his power? Link, you must get the remaining pearl. It lies in the in a place northwest of here. You must sail immediately. All right, let's take a look where that's at. And what? Oh, right there. Ah, uh, get that square out of here, man! I- Oh, we can't get rid of it. Oh, well then, don't I feel silly. Good lord, I'm stupid. Um, <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna be going over there. <gasps> you know what I just realized? We got the first pearl here. We got the second pearl here. Now we're gonna be getting the last pearl here. It makes a triangle! I've never noticed that before. Wow. And that's even more interesting because the center of that triangle is right here. And if I recall correctly, there's a very important place here that we'll be visiting eventually. Wow, that is really freaking cool. Alrighty then. Uh, well, we are on 16 minutes here, but I guess we said northwest. Uh, now, the question is, do I want to sail west then north so I can hit more islands? Or do I just want to sail directly there? You know what? Wait, is that is the one point in the right way? Oh, it is pointing the right way. Well, that's pretty f perfect. Well, that's kind of a sign if I've ever seen one. Oh, you know what? Before I go, well, it looks like we. Oh no, looks like we might not be going doing everything I was going to. Looks like we won't be visiting some more islands in this episode. Let's go see if we can show this guy this crab picture that we got from one of the people from um, our little bottles there. See if we can make a bottle for us, <clears throat> since that was a colored picture. I mean, that kind of spoils the fact that you can't get colored pictures in this game. But is that really a spoiler? I doubt it. I don't think anyone would be mad at that. That'd be a silly thing to be mad at. Whoa, I just kind of froze there, man. <laughs> All right, now we need to grab my camera up. I mean, my... Yeah, my camera. Yeah. I said camera. I thought of, like, this camera that I'm moving right now. I was like, wait, that doesn't sound right. But it's totally right. Hey, look, it says good. Let me see. Ah! Ha! Ah. Oh, yeah, he's a French. He, he is a French. <laughs> ah! Hmm, hmm, this is quite an ins inspiring motive. Oh, ho, ho. hooray, I am filled with inspiration. Please permit me to sculpt this. I'll be a jewel of a figurine. So what's your name, kid? Link, Link, is it? Oh, ho, 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 en français. Well, Link, this officially marks the introduction to a little club. Heart. I think I should be done with this tomorrow, but I ask you to be per patient till then. Okay, now that becomes a bit of an issue. Whoa, that cow looks like a harvest moon cow. You got a better cat? No, of course I can't. Oh, there we go. Look at that cow. It looks like a harvest moon. Give it a look. Oh, wow. There's mask on the wall, too. <gasps> the Keaton mask, the Gorn mask, the bunny hood, and I don't remember what that other mask is. It looked like some BDSM crap. <laughs> I don't know if that was in the original game or not. I kind of feel like it wasn't. Wow, that was really interesting. <laughs> it sounds so sarcastic. Oh, there's a bunny book. I, I feel like that's a reference to something as well, but I don't know what. Man with pots behind you. I want to break them so bad. It's a pig, piggy bank. It looks like a piggy bank, but I don't think it is. How much artists really stuff? Oh, there's a. Uh, there's people there. I feel like it's this guy. Is it that guy? In the back there, to the left. Oh, there's, there's. Oh, there. You see that little statue up there? I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. You probably have to go on full screen mode to see that. The submarine on the far left, I believe. Next to it, it's a blue thing. I don't know what that. Oh, actually, I might know what that is. Next to that, it looks like some kind of ship. I don't know what that is. And then next to that, here, right above the yellow arrow above this guy's head right now, is a, is a statue we actually saw on one of the islands. How mystical. All right, so he says we have to come back tomorrow. Unfortunately, uh, time doesn't pass on this island, so that's kind of poopy. Uh, where is uh, my ship? Oh, yeah, he got teleported. Great. All right, well, we've kind of run out of time here, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if already. My name's Chris. Um, if you guys do leave a like and subscribe, please leave it, please let me know down in the comments, and I will give you a little kiss. And I can't do my little kissing animation with my shield like I normally do. I'm spinning round and round. Have I made you sick yet? Have I made you dislike my video? 
don't dislike my video. Unless you actually dislike it. Then, I mean, fair enough. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. In the next episode, we will go find the third and final pearl. Or at least sail to the island that it lies on. Yeah. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.